Hello, and thank you for considering my micro-credential for formative and summative assessment using arts integration. My main question was, can my students demonstrate that they understood the rules of a garden using the target language? And can my students properly describe the rules that they see their classmates applying about uh, the target culture's garden? So I'm going to start with my Spanish classes. Um, I created this big book using techniques from um, Guided Language Acquisition Development and TPRS, Teaching Proficiency Through Reading Storytelling. And we had been reading the book and we look at examples and uh, the students come to understand that there must be water in a classic Spanish garden and it has to go in cardinal directions and that it's very hot and they need shade and a bunch of other rules. And um, then the students went to town building their like elevated uh, ponds and uh, shaded areas or like nice little alcoves with the water flowing. And I like the student did the, the patchwork roof like that. And then here's another view looking at the, the pond, the water coming to it. But again, it's in the shade because it's very hot in the middle of Spain. Okay, really quick, because I'm mindful of the time, my Japanese students, they had a lot to take in because first of all, there's a lot of words they don't know. Um, we looked at a lot of example gardens until they could kind of pick out that, oh, the garden has to look like it's completely natural, although every single tiny corner of it is manicured and thought about, but it has to look like it's been there forever and ever and ever. And there's a couple of Japanese concepts that are very particular to the culture of Japan, um, such as sake, which is a, like a borrowed view because you have a tiny garden and so you're borrowing a view from your neighbor's garden or from the pretty mountains in the distance or whatever. Or in this case, mie gakure, this feeling that as you walk through the garden, you are, a story is unveiling. And so just a couple examples of, oops, I made this too big. There, I shrunk it down. All right, so this student had some winding paths because uh, as you, the garden unfolds in different ways as you walk down the path. This one, um, I really liked the, you had the winding path and you can really see the Miegakure as you go through this garden. And this one used a good shake here. They framed in the distance, there's a mountain with another waterfall and they put a tiny waterfall on the front. And so they're kind of borrowing the view from here. So that was a very good demonstration that they understood the concept. Plus they're speaking in the target language, which of course was the whole goal of this since I teach language. So that was all great. Um, my French classes, I've got the most French students of all the three languages I teach. So again, they had to look at um, typical gardens and figure out what was the defining characteristics. Okay, and they could see that there's paths and the paths have to lead to um, a house and they have to know that there's shapes and the French gardens are, you're, you're putting order on nature. So everything is highly, highly manicured. Everything is symmetrical. There's topiaries, there's hedges, um, and everything has to be laid out absolutely precisely with man's imposition onto nature, very evident. So I had a lot of really good stuff. I'll just go through them really quickly. But then I thought, oh, I'll just fly, fly up in the air and show you how nicely symmetrical everything was. And yeah, just beautiful. And then we're gonna end with the skibbity toilet. Oh, I'm gonna go straight over four minutes. Okay, so the student, I was like, what the heck are you doing? But he could explain to me in perfect French what he was doing. Everyone at his table was so excited about skibbity toilets. They were speaking in French, which of course was my goal to begin with. And look, it's symmetrical, right? He's got his topiaries, he's got his hedges, he's got his muted colors. He understood the rules. He just put his own bizarre twist on it and I was very happy. And I'm sorry I went over time a bit, but thank you very much.